When I get up in the morning when, as a policeman, I didn't know if I'd come back home that day or not, but I never thought about it. I never had to think about it. I thought about doing my job. And if something happened, I dealt with it. This is something that's totally different. When somebody says you've got a limited amount of window of life left, you, a lot of things are going through your head. Cancer is not a straightforward disease in terms of treatment. It's very essential that you're getting all the information in the least amount of time with the best accuracy and confidence that you're gonna get the answer. I had pneumonia. I went to the doctor, and got all that taken care of by the end of December. So in January, she sent me to get a uh, CT scan to make sure the pneumonia was out of my lungs. He said, you have lung cancer in your lower left lung. It's terminal, it's inoperable, and it's in the process of spreading to the lymph nodes around your aorta. You have a limited time to live. I suggest you get your life in order. So after my wife and I got to the car, we had to cry for about 45 minutes. Neither one of us were ready for that. That's when I went down to the Franciscan Lung Clinic, and, and that's where I met the team that worked on me. My first encounter with him was back in 2017. Mike came in initially with some breathing issues and was found to have a large mass in the lower half of the left lung. It was big enough that it required just a regular bronchoscopy, and they did that. And he underwent surgery after chemotherapy and radiation, and then he underwent further treatment after the surgery. It's stage 3A cancer, which is a stage that you can uh, control, but it's not generally cured. Unfortunately, in 2022, when he had the surveillance scan done, this time there was some abnormality seen in the upper portion of the right lung. The abnormality that was seen on the CT scan, that was way up on the right upper lobe. I mean, you're talking about growth which was right at the apex of the right lung, behind the clavicle, and it was towards the inner half of the lung. Very difficult area to biopsy. Cancer is a silent kill. Luckily, mine was found through pneumonia and through a follow-up from that. But it's vicious. So your traditional old way of doing a biopsy by putting the needle from the outside, that would have been a huge risk for giving him pneumothorax or deflating his lung. And he already, that is his main lung. His left lung is two third gone. So the question was how to biopsy it. There are multiple aspects of Monarch which do make a difference. So one is the ability of the bronchoscope to reach really far out into the lung. With the older platforms, even if you were in the vicinity, there was no ability to move the tip of the, uh, the catheter to align yourself. With the robotic bronchoscope, not only you reach the vicinity, but then you can hone in on the target by moving the tip of the scope in different directions through the controller. The robot gives you the ability to make those fine millimeter worth of adjustments to get into it. When the robotic technology came on the scene, I saw the potential that this brings and this is gonna be a game changer uh, based on my own experience with the patients. So as soon as it got into the market, we were one of the first adopters and we were the first in the state to adopt it. If you have a busy cancer program, this is uh, a must uh, in any high volume center. I think the outcome because of the Monarch was very successful because of what Dr. Khan was able to discover, what he was able to communicate with Dr. Garrett, who's the radiologist, so that he and his team could put the radiation where it needed to be. I've seen a whole different side of my wife that I never thought I would see, because I never, we never had to experience this before. She was my cheerleader, she was my nurse, she was my support network probably one of the reasons I survived. I mean, you, you, you come in with the mindset of doing your job as a physician, but every day there is something that happens that makes you see that what you are doing and your team is doing is making a lot more impact beyond your Im imagination. I know because of what Monarch has done and knowing that you've got rid of this monster for the second time it's just amazing.